y'all, Jessica Ray Plays, and welcome back to the channel for your brand new episode of the Cottage Living Let's Play Part 7. So in the last episode, we aged up little Rai Rai, and he is now officially a little toddler-ish. I only think of him probably like four months, five months, like, you know, not really far along and definitely not walking yet, even though I know he's going to be walking here, <laughs> but just pretend he's really advanced for his age, I guess. That's what I'm thinking because I definitely don't want to play as a baby any longer, but then again, I don't want him to be like too far along, especially for the storyline that I am writing in right now because obviously next episode, which I'm getting ahead of myself, I cannot wait for you guys to see it i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys i partnered up or collabed whatever you want to call it with the mom cave or tmc creative and oh my gosh guys i am so pumped for you guys to see next episode <laughs> but stay tuned for this episode because obviously it's gonna do a major kind of like a shift for next episode as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get into gameplay and here we are at the beautiful farm definitely got a lot going on today we actually have quite a bit of stuff to do and that is first off we actually really do need to go ahead and get our llama mama okay that needs to happen right now i asked you guys tons of you guys actually said you wanted the beige llama so we are actually oh my gosh try for baby with mac oh my gosh okay i was actually really shocked i was like oh my gosh everybody everybody i think there's only maybe one person only wanted the white one everybody wanted it's the beige so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get us a beige llama i'm so excited that was 350 dollars for that thing but hey it is fine and oh my gosh look at it there it is we have a beige llama and oh my gosh look at its little dance and its little prance that it was doing like get it <laughs> oh my gosh look at the furs but oh my gosh since we have it we obviously have to name it tiny okay oh my gosh i should have actually let aisles done it because that would have been even cuter can they actually name it and i'm sure it's gonna be tiny as well it is i keep forgetting that but tiny the llama so that is what we're gonna be calling it next harvest is beige wool they're okay and everything send tiny in feed him clean him okay so a bunch of cute little things going on i think right now she's doing her schoolwork. she did go into school today and oh my gosh look at little rai rai he is down here trying to make friends with this little bunny who hates him he's like no honey I like your sister. I don't like you, but oh my gosh, he looks so freaking cute in his little overalls. And does he got pink tights on? Oh my god, he's so freaking cute. <gasps> is he gonna love each other now? Oh, look at it. Oh my gosh. So this is what I am loving about having a toddler on the farm. And oh my gosh, he actually got some little friendship with it that time. What the world? What are you wanting now? Ask for food. Are you hungry? Oh, and you're gonna start a mess. Thanks. Thanks, Rai Rai. But it is six o'clock. We do need to run into town because we need to sell a bunch of our items that we have. And Mama Hilda, she still has a couple items. Ooh, we actually need to give those to Iffy as well. So we can go ahead and sell all those while we're in town. She actually has one of these job things and it's to give the photo to the grocery store. We have the chocolate pie to the grocery store as well. We made the cross stitch. I don't know if we have to do anything with it or not, but we made it and it's $90. So if he doesn't want it, we're obviously gonna sell it because every little money that now we can get, oh, deliver it. There, mm, there it went. Freaking Hilda, man, freaking Hilda. She got up this morning and she was like, I am so hungry. And instead of going for anything else that's in our gorgeous fridge, like a watermelon, a wrapped meat, a goldfish, she goes for the freaking pie. Look at that. Look at that, a half eaten pie. And I'm just really hoping and praying that it counts because if not then we'll have to make a whole new pie so obviously if he's going to be bringing her mom with her to town so <laughs> grandpa have fun the ladies are out how about we bring aisles we'll just be like it's a girl's day <laughs> if you've never done that before <laughs> where are you at because i feel like i've done that so many times i'll be like oh well 
I'm gonna take Aria and we're gonna go. We're gonna have a girls' day, have fun with the boys. See you later. And it's definitely a little three generations all right here. I think that's so freaking cute. And it is one of the packs that I have been dying for the most is generations. Just because I feel like you never get three generations or you never get like four generations in one get go. So that's the reason why I really love having this where we get grandma, where we get, you know, the mother, where we get like the granddaughter. I really, really, really love having this aspect. And now we have a toddler on the farm it's just gonna be so much fun so let's go ahead and we will do our best today and we're gonna go do some haggling oh it's our bff today yay so that means we are definitely and hopefully gonna get some good items so maybe we can oh wait a minute are they here focus the camera oh she's right here oh awesome 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 there we go okay that is beautiful we need to give you this cross stitch there you go it's got a little rainbow on it and everything i hope you love it because it's so freaking cute and our items holy crap okay we got begonias yes give them all birds of paradise charming mushroom we're definitely gonna sell our eggs we got tons more. That's where it come from. We're definitely keeping all of these fertilizers. We got a hatchable egg. I do want to actually put that back in the thing, and I want to have it. I think that'd be really, really cute to do. Oh, tomorrow is the thing, but that's fine. We'll get hopefully more tomorrow before we come back out. We'll do all these mushrooms. Oh my gosh, so much stuff to sell. I do want to keep the white llama wool though, just because we might be able to hand it to the watch my jigger thingy guy the creepy guy the cottage living guy what is this <gasps> oh that's what we got oh that was the mystery item so we got four 20 40 60 80 okay so not bad but we do got chocolate milk now so we can actually learn to make chocolate milk the grocery deliver asked you to gift me that diddy what a thoughtful gesture i took them under my wing since they were all right here he is he is here and he does not look happy we're gonna go ahead and give him this photo that we got we're going to do a lot more stuff with him obviously we have to give him the pie which i don't know if it's gonna work <laughs> but if it does that is like the best freaking thing ever and get photo oh my gosh it is it's gonna freaking work with a pie missing out of it and everything. All right, on the bridge, giving him the chocolate pie like here. Oh, and she had six motor level skill. Here's your pie, friend. <laughs> yes, he's like, ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. You ate a piece, didn't you? She's like, yes, I did. It was so good. It was so yummy. <laughs> so now we are, what, conveying the villains? Oh, yes, we're telling them all the villains about how She's not going to stand in the way. So uh, this whole time I thought she was the grandmother, but I guess not. I don't know. I'm not for sure. But there's your pie and definitely not full. Oh, you're giving us recipes. Oh, give a cocoa berry. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What are we doing? Complaining about selfish sims? Like, listen, I am tired of your dang runnings. I feel like I've been doing it all day long. The grocery delivery mission wanted to make their own choco pie. So find another choco pie, choco berry, and give it to them. Are you kidding me? But Grandmother Hilda, but Grandmother Hilda actually seen this woman definitely like checking out her granddaughter. And obviously earlier she's seen her kind of like snooping around the house and everything. And she's like, hmm, this woman looks awfully suspicious. And obviously she's not dressed for obviously the cottage living vibes. So I definitely feel like she's like, hey, what's going on? And this woman right here, she's like, hi, sorry to put myself upon you, but I'm actually representing the estate of Rez. She's like, I, I can't say much because I'm a lawyer, but there is some things that I actually want to tell your daughter. Do you mind taking me to your house? She definitely told Hilda like, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. I've already been to your house. I've been kind of like spying on you guys the past couple weeks because this information is very informative and very confidential. That's the reason why I need to make sure that I'm speaking to the right Hilda. So obviously she's just like, what in the world? Like, Go on with your bad self, like get out of here because obviously the only thing you're going to do to my family is just bring their happiness down. So I definitely feel like she's like, get out. But then again, she's just like, well, maybe if it has something to do with Rez, then 
I do need to bring her home with us. So obviously we are gonna go home and we're gonna bring Jill with us. If he knew something was going on, and that's the reason why she's out here, she's just like, wait, it's so late for my grandmother to be missing. She was just like, something was wrong, so I definitely feel like she like came out here. She's just like, hey, mom, what's going on? Who's this? And she's just like, hi, I am the lawyer of Rez's estate. I know that you are his wife, but I need to make sure what's your name, how old are you, your address, your social security number, all that, because obviously she's like, I got some big news to tell you, and that is that Rez actually left behind money. In case anything was to happen, he actually had like a little savings account that he's been putting back money and stocks and yada, yada, yada. So this is obviously hitting Ify in the face quite a bit. She's just like a savings account. What in the world is going on? She's just like, yeah, you have $15,000 in your name that Rez has left behind you. And look at her. She's just like, what? $15,000? I might actually be able to buy my family's farm and definitely set them up. So while everything is here and everything's paused, we're gonna actually go ahead and give us $15,000. So we would have 18061 in our bank now. So, oh my gosh, that is crazy. So, <laughs> well, where'd she go? Where did that woman go? She can just leave now. Like you can just, just go away, Jill. <laughs> So definitely like 100%. Oh my gosh, my little girl is in here sleeping. Everybody is hungry. Everybody's exhausted. Look at dad. He's going to come in here and give him a nice little bath. But I actually do need her to come in here and talk to mom. So she's definitely going to come in here and be like, mom, I'm so sorry. I know you just woke up, but I need to talk with you really quickly. So if he's definitely having that conversation like, hey, mom, I know you want to move. I know you want to get away. But what about you guys actually giving me the farm? And she's like, you know what? I will do that. I will 100% do that. But the only thing is, is we need $20,000 in order to move. So if he's like 100% mom, yes, I'll do that. Right now we have $18,000 in our bank, which is um, freaking amazing. And actually one of you guys, actually, I think it was Paula. She told me to save my honey and we could potentially make, um, we can make honey pies and we can sell that on here as well. So as soon as she gets done telling her mom that we're actually gonna come out here and stock the table because we actually do have a couple items, but for some reason they're not popping through and I don't, don't know why. We have like these two toys and we actually have this $600 like dragonfly, which is very annoying. Cause I'm just like, why, why is it not popping up? Like what's, What's the dealio? Like, why won't you do anything? So if it's not gonna do it, I'm honestly probably just gonna sell it. And I'm actually gonna move it over here because whenever they come to the yard sale, they actually come over here. So I'm thinking if we move it over here more so, then they don't have to go so far. Since those items actually won't sell on the table, I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag and sell them if we can, but I don't think we'll be able to. No, we won't be able to. Okay. Nope, we won't. <laughs> and I guess we won't be able to sell that either. Can we not? Oh, that's why. Because we cannot sell it. Wow. Okay. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> we have these little toys out here. Maybe this is all of little Rai Rai's area. And we have this dragon dragonfly. Now we can just sit him. We'll just sit him out here in the yard. He can just be one with the yard now. <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't gonna sell. I was gonna say, oh my gosh, why isn't this selling? Why, what's going on here? But we'll just put him right here and then he can like have his nice little family living life right there and be perfectly fine. I totally forgot to get everything that we needed out of here. All of these items needed to be sold today as well, and I totally forgot about that. But this is actually a chocolate berry pie right here. So we can actually go ahead and get that guy to come over. Ooh, we can put our milk in there. We've got, what is this? Is this an egg? We can put our egg in there. We've got spice. <gasps> We've got lovely mushrooms. Shut the front door. We got a lovely mushroom. Oh my gosh. Finally, I can go ahead and put one out here and we will forever have the lovely, spicy, verdant, and charming mushrooms. All of them will be able to have it all. This is so freaking beautiful. So it is the next morning and it says, wow, Snuggles has grown up into a hen. Oh my gosh, what? My canal harvest eggs that Snuggles has produced in the coop. Make sure to check every morning to see if there are eggs to be found. Oh my gosh, is this Snuggles? 
No, that's Henrietta. She's hung. <laughs> she's <laughs> there's Waldo. There's Fluff. Oh my gosh. Okay, where is my darling little Snuggles? Okay, this is Maple. That's right. Maple has the hat on. Freaking. Oh, is that her? Is that Snuggles? Oh my gosh, it is. And we actually went ahead and we put in the little egg to go ahead and incubate and everything. And I'm pretty sure we yes. We have seven out of eight, and then once this one hatches, that will be it. So we now have a little hatchable egg again. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking exciting. And actually, Grandmother needs to go ahead and call over what's his name so that we can go ahead and hopefully give him this little thing that we need to give them and then hopefully get a little bit more money. So go ahead and call them and ask to come and hang out at our house. Daddy and obviously them are out here. They're like, can you believe it? She's actually going to buy the farm from us and we can go and live in the city. Definitely have a more relaxing life and not have to worry about cows and chickens and foxes and bears. Oh my. And I think that is something that they'll definitely are going to be looking forward to. I am so excited to have them get out and definitely do a little bit more pace. As for her, I have her coming in here and harvesting a bunch of everything because we need to go ahead and get that started. Oh my gosh, there he is. Oh my gosh, where are you going? You need to know. Nope, nope, nope. We need to give him the chuckleberry. Where did the chuckleberry go? Oh my gosh, did we did we use it when we were making food? I guess we probably did. Oh, okay, it's fine because we got three, so. <laughs> I was gonna say, what the heck? Cause like we had one in our inventory, like ready, like locked and loaded. There we go. Okay, there is your little Choco Berry friend. Yay. Okay, finally, hopefully we'll get paid today. Is that gonna be the last thing that we have to do for you? Because I'm telling you, these errands are crazy. $175, there we go. Knowing that I have the mayor's su support to experience what lies beyond Hanford on Bagley makes my ideal daydreams not seem so distant. I'm going to keep the photo you shared and perhaps one day I'll see with my own eyes. I'm gonna tuck into um, another chocolate pie. Oh, that's so cute. But I would love it if grandmother actually was able to help out one more. But honestly, like we are so close to getting done getting this like money and then sending mom off. So I'm gonna go ahead and offer help with errands. And oh, I'm gonna definitely miss this so much because grandmother is 100% helping out so much in this farm. She does a lot with the cleaning and the taking care of everything. And oh my gosh, to have two people gone is gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot for her because obviously this is kind of all new. Like she left even though when she was a teenager, like still this is all very much new to her. And this is definitely going to be crazy. So, <laughs> Woo. and today is actually the thing too. Wait, 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 wait. What is today? It's the garden and pie competition. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we were going to take a quill with us. That's, I remember that much. We're going to go ahead and harvest our begonias and we'll harvest the quills as well. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot about that. But it said grandmother actually got something. <gasps> she got a postcard. Oh my gosh. Look. Oh, and it said we was going to get one of these, but I had no idea we actually would. But we did. We got little cute little postcards. And we've got a free grocery delivery coupon. But honestly, we've already got one of those. We've got a friendly animal tree. And we got another upgrade part. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We've got two. Is that enough? Is that enough? Is that enough? Is that enough? Please, oh, please, oh, please tell me that's enough. No, the extender. Ooh, the comfort care system is like aromatherapy, art therapy, and musical and music therapy. Except n it's none of those things. But it does keep chickens relaxed, leading to increased lifespan. Ooh, <gasps> an auto feeder? Are you kidding me? That would be awesome. Okay, but we only need one more. So I'm gonna hold off, and I want to get the fox begun alarm. We don't really have that much to deal with foxes, but I still just want one because. Why not, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, so Ify is actually a level seven when it comes to her cooking. So we can actually make a pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Wow, we actually, oh, he is dirty. I knew it. We need to clean him. We need to feed him. Can we give him a treat of anything? Anything at all? No, okay. 
Then we actually probably needed to talk about llamas and then let's actually shear him and get some beige wool. He's unhappy, dirty, and everything, but it's fine. We'll help you. We'll make you happy. And oh, Gertrude. Gertrude is probably definitely, definitely messed up right now. She's like, I'm not coming out. I'm so mad at you. So this is the hoof print heights. Oh my gosh. Look at him. He's just like, what in the world is happening right now? My humans don't love me. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. We're cleaning him right now. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. There's two little bunnies. Is that Thumper? Tiny is getting little treats. Oh. Oh. Okay. Definitely looks like she was feeding some coins, but I'm sure it was probably like some coins. She's like, hey, have you seen any geese around here? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Now we're shearing. Oh, okay. Look at him. He loves it. Tiny loves it. Wow, we got six of them. Oh my gosh, that was it? That was super, super quick. Wow, we got six beige wools. Like, that is amazing. All right, there's your nice little fish dinner. Definitely caught by Grandpa. So go ahead and sit down on the little thing and... I'll check back in with you later. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that, that he can't like get down and up. And we got a little potty chair up here for him to use. So we'll definitely have to start doing that. Oh my gosh, just so much. It's just like, we gotta do this, we gotta do that, we gotta do this. She's like holding her little pie that she has in her hand as she like runs to do everything. Gertrude has been unhappy for a while due to inadequate care. Oh, we can't blame Gertrude for that. Gertrude was soon at leave leave to seek a new home never remember to return however gertrude will stay if the mckenzie's can provide food cleaning and attention the basis of a good life we hope the mckenzie's get to it soon oh my gosh we are coming you little turd oh my gosh we we've got a lot to deal with here holy crap like look he is trying to clean up mommy is trying to feed her face we are trying to clean the house Isles, Isles, can you come over here maybe refill can we trade? Oh my gosh, can we could trade her. We could trade Gertrude for something else. Like something a lot more nicer, I feel like. And she's not even coming out. Like how are we supposed to get her out? Okay, call over Gertrude. There we go. All right, Gertrude is definitely, like look at her. We need to, oh my gosh, Gertrude is so dirty. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Gertrude. It's just been so crazy. In all fairness, she's probably gonna give us like the most crappiest milk ever because I totally would. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if we go and like purchase her like a little item maybe she will love us <gasps> yeah Gertrude's a little turd look at that she's like ha ha that's for not taking care of me <laughs> oh my gosh all over some spilt milk man okay there it is <gasps> it looks so good it looks so yummy what is this excellent quality yes let's put it in here we got our quill fruit we're actually going to give one to Isles, and i'm gonna let Isles do that so let's actually head into town do you have to do anything no you're good okay i have to do something right yes okay let's head into town let's go let's leave we'll take rye with this oh not you we'll take you 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 and you there we go all right let's head into town we need Honestly, if we could get like two thousand more dollars and sell our items, we can get our parents moved out in this episode, which would be phenomenal. Because obviously, we want the whole farm to ourselves. Ah, if he's like probably already crunching the numbers, like how am I gonna do this? I have two people gone. It's just gonna be me, and it's gonna be Isles like helping me. Obviously, little Rai Rai is too young to help out, but her mom and her dad definitely said that they were gonna come and help them as much as they could. So we'll definitely be doing a little trick with that. We'll be making a club and having them do the cleaning and the gardening and stuff like that to help us out a lot more, which will be phenomenal. Oh my gosh, look how cute it is. They got little mushrooms over here where you can sit. They got like little tables. And oh my gosh, this is the pie little area. There's only five. And we have, I guess, like your harvestables too. <gasps> so freaking cute. All right, so go ahead and submit your entry over there. We'll have Ify go ahead and submit her entry over here. And then we need to go actually do some haggling. Sell items, yes. And then buy items. Oh, he's level two now. And then we'll, ooh, yes, pumpkin. And ooh, buy a mystery box. We'll sell items. 
and your quail fruit. Okay, and buy items. And oh, it's a mystery box for $100. <gasps> That's what it was. Okay, this is phenomenal. Oh my gosh, okay, so we need to sell our bass. Oh my gosh, look how much, honestly, all this is coming up to. This is phenomenal, $2,378. Oh my gosh, we did it. Holy cow. Unfortunately though, <laughs> we do need to try to find some of the things. We got more beige wool. I need to find the white wool. That is what I need. I need a white wool mayonnaise yuck gross i'm kidding oh there's pink oh i want to make pink wool oh my gosh i need to figure out how to make him rainbow i need to figure out how to do all of them rainbow oh there's only one there's only oh there we go two that was what we needed that is what we needed to, in order for to do this so that is freaking phenomenal okay we need to find him oh <gasps> He's actually level three already. What the heck? The little kid is like such a speed demon. Oh my gosh. I came up here to check on little Rye because he's actually making up the stairs now. Look at him. He's playing in the little tent that I put up here. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking cute. I love it so much. He definitely does need to take a bath, but maybe he can take a little nap instead and definitely feel a bit more refreshed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And she changed her hair color. Okay, well, that's great. I'm glad she did that. <laughs> it is almost 8.30. We still got a little bit more time, obviously, on our hands. Ooh, gross. And if he's actually in here making that chocolate cake, so that way we can kind of bypass a little bit of the whole getting the choco stuff in a little bit kind of a cheating way. <laughs> but hey, whatever works in order for us to get this done, since we've already done it, and then obviously we'll do a cross stitch when we get home and we'll get that done as well. And we definitely need to go see the little guy next door or whoever that is so that maybe we can give him this wool and make some items. Too bad he's actually not here because that would be so much easier if he was here, right? Oh my gosh, we need rainbow llama wool. That's what I need for these sunglasses and stuff. But we can give him this one. But I really want to go ahead and just see how we can do the rainbow llama wool. If you guys know how to make that, definitely let me know in the commentation down below because I 100% need that rainbow llama in my life. But let's go ahead and we will see what they have for Gertrude. Maybe that will make Gertrude a little bit more happier. So we can actually get her this little bell, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and do that with him while we're waiting, obviously, for this Finchwick thing to finish. Oh, and look at my little Rye. He's sleeping in the little thing. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Definitely like a good little place for him to stay. It's just like right here. He is super stinky, but it's fine. The critters love it when you spend time with them. I speak to them all the time. I tell them about my day, about what I ate. Dates have gone on. They're awkward. Oh no. Okay. So <laughs> I can't read it until we finish this part. So we can either do second nature or tummy pangs. Hmm. Okay. How about we do this one? We'll do second nature. I have no idea what we're doing, but it's fine. We'll just go ahead and go with it. That are awkward and grateful. Oh, where are we? The critters. Right. Yes. Very good listeners. Okay. Can you out fox a fox? I'm not trying to be clever. I'm literally asking you to go watch the local fox population. Increased fox signs have been reported across Hinford on Bagley, and I want you to observe them and ensure they're still getting on just fine. That's literally what we have to do is go watch a freaking fox. Oh my gosh. Watch two foxes. Okay. By chance. <laughs> By chance. Is there any freaking foxes around here? Because usually there is. All right. This should be about done. Oh, it is. Did we win? Please tell us we won. Please tell us we won. We had two things. Oh my gosh. Oh, a hundred dollars. Oh, wait, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we got one fertilizer and we won third place in the pie competition. Wow, okay. How did Isles do though? Congratulations, your pie won third place at the Finchwick Fair. Please check your Sims and household inventory to find your pie. Oh, be sure to prepare for next week's, oh my gosh, the cow fair is next week with Gertrude. That's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh, and she got a potato and onion and we got third place garden competition. Oh my gosh, we got third all around. 
So we can now make chocolatey treats. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fun. Oh my gosh. We can actually go on home now. Oh my gosh. We need to go and travel. We need to. Oh my gosh. We need to go home and watch some foxes. And we can actually kick our parents out of the house. We found a little fox right here that we get to watch. But unfortunately, it is time for Hilda and Mackenzie. Wait. Wait just a second, actually. <laughs> Before you guys leave, do you have anything in your inventories that can, like, help us? Oh, that slab it that you guys stole? Our vacuum cleaner. Thanks, Dad. You about literally stole our vacuum cleaner from us. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is hilarious. But we did say we were going to sell the farm to them for $20,000. And that's honestly going to leave them $692 left in their thing. Oh my gosh, that's so pitiful, but let's go ahead and get mommy and daddy or granny and grandpa moved into their nice little house. Oh, somebody has already moved in here. Well, we're going to be evicting you guys. Whoever you are, we're getting you out. Granny and grandpa only have $55 to their name to move into this house. So it's not like they're getting like a bigger deal on it. And obviously we have more room now. So this is Granny and Grandpa's new digs. This is the one that Claire Siobhan actually made, I'm pretty sure. Really, really cute. And it definitely gives me that whole vibes of Granny and Grandpa's like little cottage. So freaking cute. I actually got rid of a bunch of items in here. Definitely a lot of the plants in order for it to be $20,000. This is the little attic space and I definitely feel like once they get a little bit more money, maybe they'll turn it into like a little secret area for their grandkids. And this is their house. Definitely like it is super, super basic. There's not much here, which is perfect for them. Oh my gosh, look how cute. But now that we're back home and her little photo next to the snail, we got our participation trophy and now we get to add in the third place. So, oh my gosh, that's so cute. We got third place and participation. We have a potato and we have an onion. Okay, <laughs> so freaking random to have all that. So we're just gonna go ahead and just give that to mom. Oh, I just now realized it is fall too. It's the first day of fall now. So a bunch of our plants are gonna be out of season. Oh my goodness gracious. I just now, just now thought about that. Oh my gosh. How much of our awesome plants are over here are out of season now? <gasps> our birds of paradise is gone. Oh my gosh, no, and our blueberries are gone. Our choco berry is still in season, and our begonia is still in season, and our quill is actually out of season now. We definitely need to get a greenhouse for them. I definitely think that would help out so much. Oh my gosh, I am actually having her like come over here and weed some plants and ask if it's lonely. And it's, oh, both of them are actually asleep. That is so cute. Oh my goodness gracious. <gasps> Wait, did she not? Did she not potty train you? Oh my goodness. No. Oh my gosh. She already came down here and got into her bed. It says it is her bed now, but oh my goodness gracious. Obviously, next episode, we'll be able to get his little room set up. We'll be able actually to sell her bed upstairs and probably earn a little bit more money. But oh my gosh, this has been such a good little episode. We definitely did get a lot of stuff done. We actually raised $5,000 by ourselves without obviously the income coming in from Rez's estate. So it was perfect. It was awesome. It worked out just fine and we got the grandmother and grandfather out of the farm life and they are into the city the next episode we're gonna be doing a lot more with them we're gonna be like I said making a club and definitely doing a lot more things I'm really really excited for the next episode so stay tuned for it it'll be obviously coming out next week so can't wait for you guys to see it but I love you guys we'll stick in much and I'll see you guys real soon in my next video if you are new to my channel make sure you do hit the subscribe button because it does help our little village to grow make sure you give this video a big sweet thumbs up and make sure you are commenting down below because I love to hear from you guys especially with the storyline and especially what's coming up and I'll see you guys real soon in my next video bye guys Mwah. bye friends